Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series. For API Recommended Practice 572. Inspection Practices for Pressure Vessels. In the previous lecture, we discussed subclauses 4.1 General. In this lecture, we will discuss the subclauses 4.2 methods of construction. Riveting Prior to the development of welding, riveting was the most common method of construction. Seams were either lapped and riveted or butted with butt straps and then riveted to prevent leakage the edges of the seams and rivet heads were caulked riveting method of construction is seldom used today today several different methods are used to construct pressure vessels such as welding hot forging and multi-layer methods first method welding most pressure vessels are constructed with welded joints. Shell rings are usually made by rolling plate at either elevated or ambient temperature. The cylinder is formed by welding the ends of the rolled plate together. This yields a cylinder with a longitudinal weld. Second method Hot forging some vessel manufacturers hot forge cylindrical shell rings for high pressure, heavy wall vessels, such as those used for hydrotreater or hydrocracker reactors. This method does not produce a longitudinal seam in the cylinder. Third method Multilayer the cylindrical section is made up of a number of thin concentric cylinders fabricated together, one over the other, until the desired thickness is obtained. Multi-layer construction is sometimes used for heavy wall reactors and vessels subject to high pressure. Review questions Question number one Vessel shell rings are normally made by Answer is B Question number 2 When fabricating a vessel shell, which fabrication method does not result in a longitudinal shell weld? Answer is B Question number three. Shells constructed with multi-layers, a number of thin cylindrical sections, are normally used for vessels having Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.